What's up? My name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. If you're like me, you're probably running out of hard drive space. If I pull up my Windows Explorer with start and E, you can see I'm definitely running low on my Windows drive. If you're someone who uses Spotify, you may be played with this as well. If you use a program like TreeSize, you can easily see what programs are taking up what space where. And as you can see, my Spotify folder over here is taking 10.2 gigabytes, which is absolutely huge. Upon Googling this, people are complaining about sizes of one or two gigabytes. This folder is 10 for me, and it's showing no sign of slowing down. What exactly is it, and how do we clean it? Let's navigate across to there. Open up a file browser, and make sure that you have View at the very top, then Hidden Items ticked. This way, we can navigate the hidden folders that we'll be getting to now. If you're on Windows 11, you may have to do this somewhere else. Anyways, with hidden files now shown, click at the very top and type percentage, app, data, percentage, and hit enter. Now we're inside of C users, your username, app data, roaming. Head back a folder, then into local, and open up the Spotify folder. Inside of here, you'll find the data folder, which for me is taking up 10 gigabytes of space. For a lot of other people who download songs and keep them offline, your storage folder will have space instead, or as well. This storage folder over here, if it's large for you, is all of your offline songs that are saved for playing when you're not connected to the internet. You can easily control those from the software itself, or you can open up the storage folder and simply delete things yourself. Because this is practically empty for me, I'll instead go into the data folder where there's 10 gigabytes of random files, select everything, and make sure that Spotify is closed. And by closed, I mean completely closed. So I'll click at the very top, file, and exit. Once it's completely closed, you can select everything within the data folder, delete it, and hit yes. Now, of course, this is going to my recycle bin. I'll have to empty it out later. You can use shift delete if you're sure that this won't cause any issues. I'm currently putting this in the recycle bin just in case something bad does happen, though that's incredibly unlikely. These are all just temporary cache files that are left around. Now that it's clean, if you'd like to prevent this folder filling up once again, or at least change the maximum size of it, that's really simple. Head back to the app data folder, then into roaming and Spotify in here. Once you're inside of this folder, look for prefs as such and open it with any text editor. I'll open up Notepad and then simply drag and drop it in as such. Now that I have the file open, you'll see a bunch of private information, including your login key, etc, etc. For me, I've had to blank them out for the video. What you're looking for on the list is storage.size. If you don't see storage.size, you can add a new line at the very end of the file here and type in storage.size equals followed by the size in megabytes that you'd like. If you'd like to limit it to a gigabyte, type 1024. If you'd like two gigabytes, 2048, etc, etc. You can, of course, just put 2000 for two gigabytes, but of course, I just like using these numbers instead as they're probably a bit more correct. Anyways, when you've set a size probably around a gigabyte, you're more than fine. Save the file and close it. Then after you're done with that, you can close out of the file explorer and it simply opens up as before. Pretty simple, some things may take longer to load. And of course, if you cleared out the storage folder, some of your offline songs may no longer be here. You'll need to re-download them for later on if you'd like to listen offline. Now, another fix that I've heard of, if that didn't work for you, and this data folder still fills up far beyond what you expect, is simply denying write access. As long as you don't run Spotify as administrator, it won't be able to write to this folder. What long-term effects it has on Spotify, I wouldn't really think there are any, but if you realize that you can't play music after a short while and things like that, well, it may be a good idea to come back and remove this. Right-click the data folder, click Properties, head across to the Security tab at the top, Select yourself, the user account that you're currently on, not administrators, system, or anyone else, and click edit over here. Then inside of this new window, simply look for right at the very bottom, and then tick deny. Apply, yes, okay, and okay. This way, Spotify should no longer have access to write into this folder here, and it shouldn't fill up. As you can see after listening to just a couple songs, it's already filled up to 30 megabytes, which is crazy. So with the write permission denied, it should no longer add to this folder. So now that I've denied myself access, as you can see over here, if I fire up Spotify, things still work as usual. Now the effects of this, I don't really know, but as you can see, the data folder over here is staying empty. Spotify is still working fine. So in fact, I think I'll be leaving it this way where nothing is added to that folder instead of trying to limit it. I'm pretty sure that storage option that we set earlier only really affects offline songs and storage, 
but it may affect this as well. This is a more surefire way of stopping it accessing the data folder at all, but of course you could run into some negative side effects that I'm not quite aware of later on. You can of course head back to the properties menu and allow yourself write permission once again, whenever you need to, if you find issues. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Techno Behavior Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.